everyone, this is Hemin and welcome to another new video. So today I want to share my six favorite hobbies. They make my art more creative and also they make my life happier. Everyone who's following my Instagram or this channel should know doing art is my favorite hobby in the entire world. Art used to be my major study and it is my current job. It is such a wonderful thing that I do what I really really love and have a passion in even though I do what I really really love to do sometimes it makes me feel burnt out and I found it is sometimes stressful to be consistent to make a creative visual content and to make an excellence and super high quality artwork every time so now let's talk about my other six hobbies to feel refreshed and to be creative again especially when I go outside or wherever I go or when I go on a trip The first one is I have my art kit for traveling My art kit is really really simple so let me show you quickly I have a 5 size sketching journal from Montmartre and a few colors of Tombow pens I don't bring many art supplies outside and I prefer carrying materials as few as possible and the A5 is just so perfect size to carry in my tote bag In my sketchbook, I usually draw uh, doodles, brainstorming or like quick sketch and using one or two colors actually helped me a lot, really really a lot to decide um, the theme colors of my branding and the theme project that I had worked when I was an RG student in my teenager life I used to like bring a lot of art materials I truly felt like carrying a bunch of art materials in my tote bag um, made me feel like I was such a cool kid and I genuinely felt aesthetically cool At the time, I believed that I was gonna use everything I brought but now I bring only essentials The fanciest material I own is currently my iPad Pro and I brought it outside um, less than 10 times in case I want to draw but actually that happened only once or twice in my life um, one of the reasons was because we had a house inspection between 9 to 12 you wouldn't know how acquired it is to see a real estate person for house inspection so I had to leave the house before 9 and I had to go somewhere I had to find something to do for 3 hours at the time I went to a cafe and continued drawing my illustration project but I felt drawing on the tablet and my desk is the most comfortable zone this art kit might not work for some people but I like I just like having minimal art kit for traveling number two visit your favorite places to get inspired they could be local events sumo shops cafes or any places that you are genuinely interested my suggestion for this part is that try to learn how the small or big businesses and the local community presented their branding to catch attention by visitors and to look attractive if you have your favorite places in the world it's maybe because you like the vibe then I recommend thinking about how they filled their empty space and how they made their theme colors and musical elements I love visiting flea markets and the small businesses shops and of course big shopping malls I just love losing my mind and feeling the atmosphere when I leave the places I was like oh, I want to make such a vibe like that in my artwork and of course on my online shop also steal your room
have hobbies, art supply shopping, or visiting art supply stores. When I find any art supplies on my way, I definitely 100% check them out in case they have what I wanted to have, what I wanted to find for a really, 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 really long time. I always keep a wish list on my laptop and also in my mind. So when I find one accidentally, it literally makes my day. Also, being in the art supply store makes me just happy. It is just happiness, it just gives me happy energy like a magical store. My first hobby is visiting museums and art galleries. I like collecting interesting stuff and of course I want to collect more of like sort of traditional oil paintings. Um, one of my dreams is having a little art gallery room in our future place and of course I'm dreaming of having and running an art exhibition of my artwork. I haven't researched how to do it yet but this is my biggest dream that I'm having. So from the museums and the art galleries, I try to get inspired and try to learn the light setting, colors of the walls, frames for the art to work so that I can find the best matching element for my cozy pink illustration. Mount Laurel High Five Miles in spring Rainbow trout and a bird is visiting bookstores. I feel like it's not the best way when you buy a book but I'm a kind of a person who loves collecting books with beautiful aesthetic book covers so sometimes at some points I feel like a bookstore is such a beautiful art exhibition for me. Lately I'm interested in getting reference books for drawing with a sort of a vintage illustration of animal or botanical plant or flowers so that I can get some ideas to create a new character for the future project or when I get new commissions and if they ask me a specific things to draw I might use the reference books
topic that I'm going to share in this video is having a moment to draw in my sketchbook for a short time. In terms of time, to be honest, it can be very depending on your art medium or how much detail you want in the art. When I want to fill something in my sketchbook, I think I spent uh, less than 15 minutes at home and when I want to draw outside, I spend I think less than 5 minutes I use my sketchbook when I fresh out ideas It's like when you wanna note quickly on your notepad or sticky notes If you have an art hobby or not You may have thought about drawing or painting outside that looks cool and dreamy like romantic stuff at least the ones even though you will be wanting to draw outside if you couldn't have a moment to draw take photos of your surroundings as if you want to post something on your social media and then draw your original references when you can find a comfortable spot or when you're back home Okay, so that's all I want to share in this video. They might not work for some of you guys, but they are one of my favorite hobbies in my entire world as a person who loves doing art. Thank you so much for watching this video. Have a wonderful, lovely day, and I'll see you in other videos. Bye!